Hey ladies, this is Lori Shalafo, and one of my friends asked me if I wouldn't, um, if I would tell her the story of the penguins. And so I decided rather than writing it down that I would do a videotape of it. So you know this time of year at the holidays we see a lot of penguins around and um, these are some of mine that I have decorating my house. But the story of the penguins is really something that um, is pretty special to me. I've been telling this story for a long time and using it in a lot of my training. And um, I love it because it's so applicable to our everyday lives and how we can be supportive of one another. And um, I just love that about 31 and the way we have such a great sisterhood and being supportive and helping each other, you know, when somebody's down or when somebody needs some additional support. So the way the story of the penguins goes is that um, penguins actually survive in one of the harshest climates um, that is known to mankind. They survive in temperatures of negative 40 degrees and actually um, are able to withstand 90 mile per hour winds. And uh, they can do that by being supportive. There's you know, lots of things they do as far as their body, uh, their feathers and that kind of thing and the body fat. But one of the bigger things that they do is that they actually form circles where they surround each other. They get into a circle and they use each other's, um, the body heat that they get from each other to survive. But then if they're on the outside of the circle and they just really can't stand it anymore and they need some additional warmth, they can actually rotate into the center of the circle to get warmed up and feel protected and you know receive that extra additional help when they need it. And then once they get to a place where they're feeling better, then they can rotate back out of the circle and go um, you know and let somebody else take that place. So we can learn so much from that in that you know sometimes we need to rotate and be in the center of the circle and that is okay. You know, sometimes we need that additional support and it should be okay for us to say, raise our hand or, um, you know, just say to our friends, you know what, I need to be in the circle. I need some extra support. And that's what's so great, you know, about um, having sisters with 31 and, and our families and, you know, other supports that we may have, but that it's okay to be able to say, I need that additional help. And, you know, this time of year, there's a lot of people that need that additional support and it's just a great um, a great story to tell and to to really take to heart. So when you need to be in the circle, then you know just say I need to be in the circle and your sisters will help to surround you and and boy, we can really um, survive in a lot of intense situations when we know we have that support. And then when we feel better, then it's our turn to rotate back out and and provide that support to somebody else. So I just really wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and an awesome, happy 2014. I hope it's an amazing year for you. And uh, let's all support each other like the penguins and, um, and show the world that, you know, really 31 is awesome because we can provide that to one another. So hope you have a great day and a very Merry Christmas. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.